treason is a grave crime in Russia punishable by 12 to 20 years in prison. And that's the charge leveled against former Russian military journalist Ivan Safranov, who in May became an advisor at Russia's space agency Roscosmos. State prosecutors are accusing Safranov of passing military secrets to the Czech Republic in 2017. He has denied the charges and his supporters say the case was fabricated. This is a new case, the first since Pasko, where a journalist is being accused of treason. There used to be a consensus and understanding that a journalist cannot know any state secrets, they just don't possess such information. He is being persecuted for the time he worked as a journalist. This is not an accusation against a civil servant, it's an accusation against a journalist. Espionage and treason-related convictions have increased fivefold over the past 10 years, according to the Media Zona publication. Court proceedings of such cases are usually held behind closed doors. More than once, people were accused of divulging state secrets, even from our university. And these people couldn't have known any state secrets in the first place. So I think the concerns are justified, and I can't say who will be the next victim. There are many potential victims because the expert community in Russia is quite large, political, economic and international. Analysts say potentially any person with professional contacts abroad might be accused, from journalists to scientists to diplomats. This arrest highlights the risk that Russians face in interaction with the West. Uh, so I don't have any doubt that some people in Russia will now be more cautious in dealing with Westerners because they're afraid of abuses by the FSB or other elements of Russian law enforcement. The charges against Safranov were issued just days after another Russian journalist, Svetlana Prokopieva, was found guilty of inciting terrorism, but she was let go with a fine instead of imprisonment. We all now need to balance our work in a way that would prevent us to fall into self-censorship. Because if we do fall into that, you can say the security services have done their job and silenced us. But we cannot be silenced. The Safranov case also represents a threat to Russian journalists who work with Western news agencies, says the former head of CNN Moscow Bureau. Foreign correspondents working in Russia will encounter right now a very unpredictable situation when it comes to working or getting information from other journalists, Russian journalists. Because, you know, you look, we have Ivan Safronov, we have Svetlana Prokopieva, we have Ivan Galunov. All of these journalists were working in various fields, but they have been either arrested or uh, detained or prosecuted, etc. So if um, you were, let's say, a journalist, an American journalist in Moscow, you'd have to ask yourself, if I deal with a journalist like that, and I, it's totally... Um, let's say, objective journalistic activity, will it be dangerous for me? Could I be kicked out of the country? A number of civic organizations and media outlets have published statements supporting Ivan Safranov. Journalists are demanding an open hearing and calling for a stop to the spy mania. Daria Digut for VOA News, Washington.